Games Brains are being a lifer with a track by track. We are looking at Cold Chamber's debut album called Cold Chamber, released in 1997. I was 13. Uh, no, I'm not doing age. Oh. <laughs> uh, a year, maybe a year and a half to two years in this country. Mm. Oh, okay. Yes. Yeah. And uh, here's the thing, funny thing that uh, you would think, presume, because I am such a big Devil Driver fan, that I was obviously a Cold Chamber fan. Never was. Mm. Never a fan. Only the odd song, yeah. and we're talking the odd song. But it just, this is a band that never resonated with me yeah. during my metal time, early mm. years. I've never been a fan of Cold Chamber. And there's obviously been nothing to change my mind. No. Yeah. yeah. And uh, this is a 14 track album. And let me tell you now, mm. you're going to feel at least three quarters of that length. Yeah. Uh, one of the biggest shocks for me of re listening to this was how much of it I didn't like. Yeah. That was the biggest shock. I thought going back to it, yeah, you'll probably find the odd filler, yeah. but it'd probably be like, oh, wow, I never really heard this. This mm. is a banger and stuff like that. No. It's not. No. Fucking hell, it's not. But we begin with the obvious loco. loco. It's a hot start. It's like off key corn like guitars, but when Des says go yeah. and shit goes nuts, it is insanely heavy and fast. Um, it's lazy as fuck in regards to repetition. Oh, yeah. It really is. But, you know, this is one of those tracks that I liked when I was younger. Yeah. I think it's... They played it in clubs a lot. <laughs> I think it's a very poorly written song. Yeah. But for heaviness and speed and frantic and giving you an impression of what Cold Chamber were... Yeah. I can, yeah. I can appreciate that. Yeah. It is personally overplayed. Mm. Uh, so I don't love it. But I don't love anything. I don't love anything in this album. No. Nah. But yeah, I mean, Loco, it's fun. It's fun. Yeah, That's what you can yeah. kind of say, so you know? Yeah, so it's played a lot of new metal clubs and stuff. Because mm. of its speed and pace and stuff like that. So, yeah. Bradley. Mm. And here we go. Yeah. Now, I like some of the urgency that crops up in the verses here. Mm. But my God, does that chorus suck? Why I think they? it sounds like the mm. band are bored and falling asleep. Bradley. Just, yeah, what on that. earth? Yeah, I'll put what? that whiny chorus. Didn't like that. Oddity. A nice tricky groove erupts into something way more energetic than the last. However, it's clear at this stage we're not going to be getting a whole load of variation mm. with this album. Still, one of the better tracks, and I get uh, this feeling of barely contained threat with Des. Mm. I just kind of found it's all just average new metal. And I say, like, mm. it just kind of takes you back to that time when there's so many bands doing this stuff. Yep. And I was kind of hoping, like, I'd go back and find some absolute, like, corkers from it. That's but, what I expected, yeah. and it really didn't. Yeah, and I was like, oh. We did discover some things in this, but mm. they're not positive. Mm. And one of those things is, crops upon unspoiled for me. Mm. And I wrote, could be corn. Mm. That's really fucked up. Mm. The downbeat guitars and drum pattern is very familiar. Even when it breaks for clean vocals and the guitars go all fuzzy, it's a bit of a rip-off. Mm. I put that same thing. Yeah. I said, could be a corn style track, but I found it bland. Oh, yeah. So... Um, yeah, this is the first, and there's a couple more indications in this. We're like, mm. oh, 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 you know? And the timing, the timing doesn't quite match up in the sense that is it really a ripoff of Corn? 97 Corn were a thing, mm. and self titled was out. So, you know, influences could have been there. Was it the other, it won't be the other way around. No, Corn Corn, 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 Corn came first, Corn came yeah. First, yeah. yeah. Um, yeah, big truck. No, I do like this one. It builds nicely. If I if it was if I it was live, you'd be preparing yourself for the pit to erupt, and then it doesn't. Mm. Which is what the fuck? Personally, I don't really mind this though, as it subverts expectations, and then the explosion comes later. However, however, it's hard not to laugh as Desma as big truck. Yeah, yeah, I didn't. Yeah, I was like, no, it's a crap lyrics. Big truck. Yeah. Crap lyrics. Yeah. I, uh, so I kind of like, do you know what this reminds me of? It remind, not musically, not musically. Mm. It reminds me of Bulldozer, where the intro of Bulldozer, and you are waiting for that Bits of, initial yeah. explosion, and it doesn't go, it drops to that sort of stuff. Into the, the. Yeah. This is what it does. I don't mind that occasionally, mm. because there's so much of this album is heavy on the poof, exploding and expectations. To have a track that doesn't, and then does it a little bit further along, it's a lot better, yeah. It's fine, yeah. yeah. This is one of my more liked ones on the mm. album. Yeah. Which isn't saying much because I do find it cheesy, silly, yeah, and average. Just one of the better ones. Yeah. If you have a big, big truck, at least have like one of them big horns in there from like a big... <laughs> I don't need horn. that. <laughs> right. Sway. 
Now, oh, yeah, like we got to go back a bit here. Mm. As a kid, I thought this was a hilarious song and so badass. Mm. You know, you go around singing the mm-hmm. fucking lyrics mm-hmm. and you're so cool mm-hmm. and stuff. Now I find it corny as hell. But <laughs> doesn't stop it being Circle Pit Mayhem. Mm. That's one of the things about it. Mm. Um, I don't like listening to it, but I can appreciate that. I like. I say it does sound quite aggressive as well in this one. When he puts the growl on the... Yeah, yeah I love that. Yeah. But yeah, just those lyrics like, you know, as a kid and a teen you're like nah, yeah perfect. you know yeah. <laughs> yeah the roof the roof the roof is on fire we don't need no water let the motherfucker burn burn motherfucker burn Uh, first, how boring is this mm. track? No one, no one wants Cold Chamber pretending to be musicians. Mm, also, bring back the energy. Uh, this is like they were like, oh, we got to show people we can play our instruments. Oh. Fuck off. We know you can from the speed. Like, we, no, you, you can't play. No fast, one's ever you disputed your yeah. abilities. Uh, Rainer, yeah. is it, who was on bass? It's a fantastic bass player. Mm. Des Fafara is a wonderful vocalist. We know this. The other guys. Whatever their names are, mm. you can play your instruments, man. Don't be pretending like you can actually play them properly, though. You know? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, Mar- Maracon Puto, an irrelevant intermission of annoying noises. Yeah, just in the illusion. Yeah. Again, don't need it. Uh, I, which is the track I. Mm-hmm. Uh, a belly rumbling bass line that devolves into by the numbers cold chamber heaviness. Perfectly fine, but man, haven't we grown since 1997? Mm. Yeah, I thought we were another coolness track. Yep. Uh, the really heavily called influence track, yeah. As in that, that that whole new metal, it very it dates it. Yeah. Oh god. It, oh my god. Almighty. Yeah. This is a stamp of mid nineties, ninety six, ninety seven, ninety eight. Mm. New metal. Poof, there's yeah. that stamp. Put on a horror film. Done. Yeah. <laughs> Clock. Now I wrote. No one should use the words tick in a yes. song. Have we not realised this yet? <laughs> you know, I realise we're well many years off frantic top tick. <laughs> oh, but god, yeah. honestly, as soon as I had, t- I was like, no, don't use the tick. Um, and I, I really fucking hate the speakerphone vocals mm, in this. Yeah. Although they've got, it's got some meaty ass riffs. Mm. I found those like the vocal. That, I said speakerphone vocals. That's what it comes across like. Like Des is on the other end of a line, yeah. and we have them on loudspeaker. It's pretty well. Kind of, yeah, and it's, I, I just don't like it. Yeah, My frustration, an apt title is it is it is exactly how I feel about this track. Mm. Things have started to sound so repetitive that it's not even enjoyable anymore. I really don't care for this track at all, mm. which is a shame as it has some desperate style vocals I do like. Yeah, same thing I said before, like listen, it's funny hearing Des growl and I think, oh thank god we got um, Devil, like, Devil Driver. Yeah, from, yeah, yeah. A little bit, yeah. Of this, because yeah. like that's what because because he's an incredible him, like, vocalist. Oh, he's amazing. So I'm like the fact we've got that in the form that it suits itself better to, in my opinion, is what yeah, I what positive we, about that track. I was like, oh yeah, there we go. That's, yeah, what we needed yes. was a little bit of age, a little bit of rejection, and time away with failures of later Cold Chamber albums mm. and stuff like that. So better musicians around him, mm. and then we'd get like quality music. Mm. All right, this is directly to Cold Chamber, who are obviously sitting here t- uh, together as a band, oh, way yeah. back 97. <laughs> watching our video. Yeah, watching our video. I'm <laughs> directing this next line to you guys. It's okay to cut stuff, you know? Mm. A mirror of the desert. What the fuck is the point of mm. this? It's downright annoying and makes them look like asses. Mm. I think it made them look like idiots. Mm. But this wasn't like a, a time, like again, very of the time people just put any old silliness and nonsense we on it. Corn Manson, were doing it. Yeah, Manson did it. Yep. And then that on. You'd that. have a track that was. Uh, look at Corn's Follow the Leader. The first, what, 12 tracks? Mm. Oh, seven or eight seconds of silence, and then it starts on track 13. Oh, you're so wacky. <laughs> that freaked my early iPod. No, I didn't have an iPod. I had like some little pebble thing. All called pebble thing. Entitled. F- yeah. Oh. You know, you'd have like a, a Man of Manson <clears throat> final track uh, that would go on for 15 minutes and then you'd have a minute or stuff of noise. Yeah, um, um, what is it? Frankie fucked... No, Frankie fucked the post? Or where it's just that old... Oh, mm. something fucked Frankie? What is that? God, from Manson. Oh, don't, don't oh. do that in depth. But yeah, yeah. Amir of the Desert. Good God. Yeah. Just don't, just don't put it on... Just don't have it on there. Yeah. It's okay. You're at 11 tracks with my frustration. Yeah. There's your mm-hmm. album. Yeah. But it has to continue. As we hit Dreamtime, 
Uh, and for me, why mentally I was so checked out here, but I forced mm. myself to continue. Continue. It's just another cold chamber track that lacks energy. Yeah. It's just. That's how rough the energy in a pace with him. A lot more. And then we hit the final track. And uh, my heart almost stopped when I saw it was eight minutes long. Mm. I almost cried when I was looking at the yeah. thing the and I was off. writing and I was like, wait, eight minutes? Come on, guys. Mm. And happily, it is also now one of my most hated Cold Chamber songs. Mm. The squeals, the long silence, an idiotic hidden message. Yeah. You know, you realize the whole band has changed now. <laughs> Exactly what we said with a mirror in the desert. Did you just look around and go, well, that's what everybody else does, so we're going to do it too? Yeah, I said that. I said, is that, I'm guessing that was like the thing in 97, silence or 90s. It was new metal. Silence and random chatter or whatever you want to cut and put in there. But yeah, it, it dates it a lot and it's just unnecessary. So it's your debut album uh, as well. Mm -hmm. No one gives a fuck mm -hmm. what you've got to say or what you're doing and shit like that. Mm -hmm. No one wants to hear. No one wants to hear. It left them record. It's like everyone, right? Her daddy. Mm. And obviously where Jonathan Davis loses his shit and stuff mm. like that. And obviously it's such an iconic moment that suggests it was left to record and pick up and mm. stuff like that. Everyone, well, we got to do that. And it's like, we got to have something like that. Mm. Obviously not like the emotional side, yeah. but we want to have this kind of, we're a friendly it. band, we're a band that you can kind of thing. And look at us just hanging out and talking yeah. and jamming. And we'll put a bit of our phone call on there and stuff like that. And it's like, mm. no. No, no, no. <laughs> yeah. This this is Cold Chamber's big one. After this, we would get Chamber Music and uh, Dark Days, and that would be it. Mm. And both of those albums are considered to be lesser fucking albums than this. Mm. Like, you know, and I'm not that familiar with uh, Chamber Music, and I know a couple of songs from Dark Days, like Fiend, Oh, and yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll quite so we will that. cover them in the future. I think it'll be quite interesting. But the fact, universally, this is considered the best Cold Chamber album. Oh, mm. my God. What the fuck are we in for, yeah. then? What are we in for? The, my best hope is I look at Chamber Music and see it's eight tracks long. Oh, thank you. Yeah. But I doubt it. I doubt it very much. Uh, yeah, I think the biggest shock, the biggest shock was going back to this and um, hearing a lot of it for the first time. Yeah. And just reeling as it, it's a bad album. Yeah. I th I think it's a bad album. If you if you average what is a good track over what is a bad track out of fourteen, yeah, which yeah, brings us to top the three. top three. Okay, so. and as chances are, we're going to have exactly the same. So I'm going to go for obviously Loco. Yes, Loco. Um, Sway. Yep. And yeah, oh, really tough. Really tough. Um, say oddity, oddity. Yeah, it's pretty much the same. I mean, I I might chop out Sway for Big Truck, mm. um, just because I like Big. But then I don't love Big Truck. That's the thing. Yeah. It's just me being pedantic about it. But Loco, Sway, and Oddity. Yeah, they are probably the best three tracks on it. Which, considering two of them are the singles, the big hit is from it. Doesn't say much at all. Yeah. It's set, it, it. I think it's really and even Oddity. It's one of the more well and Big Truck are mm. one of the more well known songs. It was really sad that that we've gone back to this album and not found a hidden gem. Mm, yeah. Not found a hidden gem at all. Yeah. There isn't. Cold Chambers, Cold Chamber. Let us know what you think in the comments. Thank you very much for watching. You can check us out on gbhbell.com as well as on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter and Tumblr. Go to Patreon to help us out over there. That's patreon.com forward slash gbhbl as well as Big Cartel where you can find some of our merchandise. We have a podcast running on SoundCloud and Apple Podcasts. And of course, if you like this video, do us a favour, hit the subscribe button and help the channel grow. Games, horror and heavy metal, what else is life for?